a mature basketball team that tried you know our best not to listen to the noise outside and, you know and we're you know six seven days ago and we're down three one everybody thought the wheels were falling off and it was kind of the end of our our run but in that locker room the talk was positive it was you know let's figure this out let's let's go out and you know take it one game at a time and claw our way back into the series and see what happens and we followed that that kind of mindset you know these last three games and it's it's just you appreciate how how tough it is to get back here that's that's the one thing i've learned is just you can't take any anything for granted because it's it's such a grind it's such a battle against a great thunder team that um you know pushed us to the brink so you got to be appreciative of of this accomplishment um and now look forward to getting four more wins Steve Bitker, KCBS. Steph, back to your right. Do you feel more joy or relief now? And what are your thoughts on facing the Cavs in the rematch? Um, <clears throat> I feel joy for sure. I mean, like I, like I just said, this is this is an unbelievable accomplishment to go back to back um, to the finals and continue this this journey. So. Uh, I'm kind of just taking in the moment and uh, enjoying it with my teammates. I haven't really thought much about Cleveland. Know know what uh, the challenge is going to be. You know they've been playing well the whole playoff you know run that they've had, and um, you know we'll, we'll obviously game plan and, and get our minds ready for the next challenge. But um, like I told every single one of my teammates when I saw them in the locker room, like. Uh, and, and embrace this 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 accomplishment, this moment, because of how hard it is to get back here. And you know, we have 48 hours, you know, starting tomorrow to get ready for Game One at home, and uh, we'll have time to do that. Steph, Michelle Steele, ESPN. You guys were down three-one. Was there a key moment in this series that represented a turning point for this team? Um. I think that second quarter in Oklahoma City, where we're down double digits, I think, and there's another, there's a, that that same kind of moment where in Game Three and Four we lost control of, of the game, and they pretty much won it, won you know both those games in that six minute stretch. We kept it to I think it was five um, going into halftime, and I understood what it was going to take to win. Obviously, Clay and the shots he made down the stretch were huge, but we gave ourselves an opportunity to win that game and keep keep you know stay alive. And um, in that building, it was it was such a hard thing to accomplish. Um, and we found a way to to stay in the game and and uh, keep our composure down the stretch. So that that last six minutes, of the second quarter was was huge. Steph, over here, Jimmy Durkin, Bay Area News Group. Um, Andre came back into the starting lineup tonight. What did he provide for you guys, and what was it like to see him play the kind of minutes that you know he hasn't played in a while? Oh, I didn't, hey. He's going to need some good treatment tomorrow for sure. Um, I didn't realize he played 43, but uh, he's he's such a you know that Swiss Army knife kind of guy where <clears throat> he can do so much on the floor. Um, yeah, obviously had the. the the challenge of guarding KD for all 43 minutes he was out there, um, you know, making a timely three in the second half that kind of kept us in it. And just his presence as a playmaker um, and a seasoned vet that you kind of never know what's on his mind by looking at his face. He's always, you know, kind of has the same mannerisms and whatnot, and it keeps us, um, you know, just – Compose and, and at peace with whatever the situation is. So he he makes plays that sometimes might go unnoticed on the stat sheet, but if you watch our games, you know how much of an impact he has um, on what we do. And it's a luxury to have you know him and HB to kind of mix and match. And you know HB had a different role tonight and still came in and and had a you know a positive minutes for 22 uh, 22 minutes he was out there. And it takes it takes a committee to get get back here like we did. Scott Howard Cooper from NBA.com straight ahead. What is the biggest challenge for the Warriors, not just you, but the entire team, in going from a seven-game series where you had to play to the final minute to a pretty quick turnaround to the finals? 
I don't know. This is our first time doing it, so we'll uh, we'll figure it out. You gotta just reach, refresh, and obviously get our bodies ready in the next two days. Do whatever you have to do to to um, you know take care of that going into game one. Know that it's gonna be a totally different you know team, different game plan, different um, uh, X's and O's. But the mindset that we have going into to each game, I think. The way that this series went from game one to game seven, we we're ready for anything. Um, and knowing how important taking care of your home court is, so that uh, that'll be a, you know uh, a high priority going into game one. Felicia Purcell, SportsInTheBay.net, and on media day, you guys were saying how coming off a championship, you guys had a bullet on your bullet on your back, so people were going to be gunning for you guys. But then you just said that you also try not to listen to the chatter. Is that really a drive for you? I mean, you are hearing it. People are probably texting you and telling you what people are saying. Is does that drive you? Is that is that a drive for you and your guys? I think what we were referring to was when we get out on the court that we were going to get everybody's best shot, and we have all regular season and. And obviously in the playoffs, uh, it's it's heightened even more. So that wasn't talking about the noise outside of our locker room. It was on the court, we knew if when we played every 48 minutes, it was going to be tough and um, a battle. And we were going to have to uh, rely on our experience and um, you know, our togetherness as a team. So that hasn't changed from game one to, to tonight. And we're going to have to rely on that same kind of uh, – Unity, I'll call it, uh, going into game one of the finals and, and trying to just figure out a way to win four more. Um, that's all that matters right now for us is uh, we put ourselves in a great position to realize a, another goal and got to get it done. So it that's our saying. It's been like that um, for a while now, and we really – it's not just talk. It's we're at home, on the road, it's, it's just us.